Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on a set of greeting cards, thank you cards actually, um, using some um, artist trading card size uh, graphics from uh, Calico Collage. And these are Spring Peacock. And I've completed three today. We're going to work on one together, but I'll show you the ones that I just finished. Well, I have not added the thank you to it yet, but there's this one. This one. And this one. And then we're also going to look at the envelopes quickly. I did kind of a distress look there with a clean front and a stickable closure. They're all pretty much the same. Stickable closures on each of those. Okay, so let's just go through step by step how I did it. Each one obviously is going to be different, but here's the image from the collection that I have to work with you. And this is just cardstock, a card. And so the first thing I want to do is just kind of distress the background a little bit. And I've been playing around with this Distress Oxide Iced Spruce, as well as this Tattered Angels um, Glimmer Mist. And I'm not sure the color on this. It's kind of a brownish tan. Um, these are the ones that I've been playing around with, with these cards. I am not a pro. This is not a definitive... Um, how to use distress oxide <laughs> but this is what i've been doing to get the look so i have a, a craft mat here i'm just going to spread a tiny little bit of the ink on the craft mat and use a little mini mister now i have the tim holtz the ranger mini mister but you can use just any water bottle and if you just spray it it'll beat up a little bit and it'll um, move that allow you to move that ink around and then i just tap my card into it all around and when it dries it'll have the ice spruce is very similar to some of these colors so it, it doesn't show up a whole lot and then I just come in and take this glimmer mist a few areas like that now this is gonna need to dry so I'm gonna set that aside to dry I'm gonna wipe up my mat and then show you what I do with the envelope to wipe my mat with. All right. So for my envelope, this one is already put together and I'll show you at the end of the video how I um, made this with the envelope punch board. But this is already put together here. And so then what I'm doing with that is these little, these are one inch circles from Calico Collage. They match the Spring Peacock kit. And I'll show you what they look like on the whole page. I have them right here. Oh, I can grab them out for you. Okay. And then I took a one inch scallop punch and then I just lined it up and punched. That's all I did. Lined it up and punched. And I punched out several so I could choose whatever one went with my card the best. So the first thing I did was grab my Distress Oxide again. I did the exact same thing that I did on the card. And I only did it to the back, to the side that you'll address. And I just did that so that, you know, we didn't have to have the whole thing done. I don't know exactly why I did that. It's just what I chose to do. I came come in with the Glimmer Mist Slight Spray. It's really hard to see on the video, but that gives it a real shimmer and just a real random grunge look, which I love. So then I choose my um, image, my little one inch image. I take some glue to the top just a little bit of glue and put it on there and then to make it stickable I have these right here from Hobby Lobby I take one of those off and I leave the other backing on it and then I stick that up the glue's not dry yet 
stick it on there stick it on there let the glue dry then um, when I give it to you the person I'm giving it to as a gift they can just remove that seal it and mail so that's the envelope that's as simple as can be so let's go back to our card now that it's had a chance to dry don't know how well you can see it just has a little bit of a grunge sparkle look now the way that I set up the card I take my image and since I cut it out um, and there's a slight line of white I just I'm taking my distress oxide just barely flicking it on the edges to give it that totally finished look okay and then I just grab scraps and I don't layer the whole card just around the edge about where that's going to be all sorts of different things whether it's ribbon or whether it's I have a bunch of tissue paper here I'm going to rip off a piece of tissue paper I'm going to start with gluing that down right there the goal is not to um here's just a little die cut it's not to you do not the you do not want to overthink it. You just want to choose die cuts, lace, pieces of ephemera that match, that go well with it, and layer them. And I already completed a couple, the ones I showed you before this, so you could see, you know, I could try it out and make sure that would work. I have some rhinestones here. Where did that ant come from? My goodness. Okay, so some little rhinestones here. I'm going to place them. And pretty much I'm just going all around. Here's some ribbon. I'll cut that. And add that down here. Let's see. What else would I like to put on here? And then I just take my image, lay it on top, see if I like it. Okay, I want something else here on the bottom, so I'm going to grab my lace bin here. And I'm going to kind of dig through, find a piece that I like, cut it off. There we go. Glue it on so that we have extra on the bottom. There we go. Now we take our image, glue all the way around. It does not have to be... Be perfect and flat this really has a textured look that's what I'm going for oh and as you see my little rhinestones there weren't in the right place so we will readjust them working with wet glue like this you can kind of you have a little bit of playroom to readjust okay so I have a thank you stamp here this was from I think it was a Dollar Tree brand it was given to me as a gift but and then I'm just going to line it up here, press down. Here we go. Let's go back into the cards I finished and add thank yous to them as well so we can see what they look like. I think that goes perfect like it was meant to be there. I made the envelope slightly bigger than the cards, so this here hanging off, that'll fit in there just fine. There we go. And... Stay tuned for the um, how to do make the envelope. All right, here's my envelope punch board. It's actually the one, two, three punch board. It does the envelope. So let me see if I can zoom out a little bit so you guys can see better. There we go. Um, boxes, bows, and envelopes. Now I have not actually played around with the bows or the boxes yet, but I'll show you how to make an envelope with it. Over here we have a cheat sheet. You just say what, um, you look at what card size you want, and then it tells you what to cut your paper to and what the punch guide is. So I wanted to do a four by six. It's slightly larger than the card that I have. So I looked up here, four by six. It said to cut my paper to eight and three eighths, and you always want a square. So it's eight and three eighths by eight and three eighths. And then it says that my punch guide should be three and a half. So if you look here on the board, you go to three and a half and you line that up you punch and then you take your little bone folder that comes with it this notch right here I don't I want you to be able to see that okay there's notches let me zoom in 
if I can. All right, and then you put your bone folder in there, pull down. It makes a little score mark, which you can see, just a really light score mark. So then you're gonna turn your paper counterclockwise, and the score mark line, you're gonna line up with this line that says envelope score groove. So you just line that up, punch again, do the exact same thing. Oops, sometimes it's a little hard to find that groove. There we go. Turn again, line it up, punch. So after you, you figure out your first punch, everything else is just lining it up and punching. There's no more thought that goes into it. And there you go, your envelope is totally complete. You just fold everything in on the score lines. And you add your glue or your tape. I have a tape runner here. And we'll just add a little bit of tape there, a little bit of tape there. I hope that was helpful.